Hey everyone, Fatty from Pack a Punch Traders here. Quick video going over tomorrow's top plays for October 14th. It's gonna be Friday, last trading day of the week. So we got AGFY as one of the plays. This one was a decent call from the watch list the other day. Um, it wasn't a top play, but it was on the watch list as uh, something to watch for um, a test of 65 cents. As I thought, you know, it's usually hard. For these breakouts to really push through a red candle breakout, they really need a lot of volume, which in this case it did happen. And then we got the hold of that breakout level, and then it triggered a whole fifty percent move or so, a little bit more than that. And from there, if we measure it from the bottom up, we got over one hundred fifty percent. So now I'm going to be looking for a multi-day bounce, but at the same time, it hasn't really faded or really set a backside is kind of still dangling around uh close to the high so this can very well bring in some more demand and trigger another breakout over 115 and that could test the mid ones um so i don't know what the chances of that really of that happening really are as we'll have to wait and see what the demand is like as this breakout level could turn into a solid resistance area where it just gets stuffed and uh, from there, we will be looking for the multi-day bounce. So it really is dependent on what happens tomorrow. We're either playing the breakout play or we're going to sit tight, we'll let the backside really set in, and then play the multi-day bounce. But that's just how we're going to be approaching AGFY. Next up, BTB. This one's been on watch for a minute now. Um, still holding that 15 cent area. So we got a little gap up yesterday. And then wasn't able to really make anything of that, but we're still holding up well off of the highs as well. Decent runner, just going to keep it on watch for a possible play as it is trying to is it slowly make it higher lows. So this could be something um, <clears throat> as well as CNXA. It's got a little pop here after hours. Uh, we've seen them do this sometimes where they have a very light volume pop don't really do much and end up actually failing so sit tight but this is showing some signs of possible bottom with this little pop after hours so it's way off of the highs at 80 cents um, <clears throat> and it's just been a low volume fade ever since so maybe this could trigger a first green day bounce play that we can capture and for the bounce plays today was a great example SNTI what we really look for we're looking for that high day break in the morning or whichever time we're looking for at least five minutes three minutes just give it some time to where it shows that it's not pushing lower i'll explain myself here actually a little bit more clearly so here we get a gap down on snti and what it does is gives a quick little dip it holds up though so that's why we want to see some consolidation to where um, it's able to show. It's showing it's able to hold up. Usually, you're getting that gap down. It should theoretically keep pushing lower, and if it could pop up and hold up, that could be a bullish signal. Especially when it's breaking VWAP. In this case, what we're looking for, three hundred two was the price level. My entry, my average was three hundred five. Um, the first entry was 303 so that's really what we're looking for the pop over the high a day on solid demand and then you get another opportunity usually later on this one in this case I added actually in the 320s as it held red green I added a little bit more and that brought me up to 305 initially it was 303 my average and from there didn't have enough patience but rode it to the 340s but then we got that 30% move we typically talk about. On average, this thing spikes 30% from the last close. So from 320, it gave it a little bit over a dollar to show the 30%. Um, but yeah, that high day, that is going to be the key to trigger that momentum shift where shorts are realizing, okay, let's lock in profits. This is failing to really push lower. And dip buyers are going to come in, recognize the momentum shift. They'll bring in some more demand. And yeah, that, this is the result of it. Sometimes they're quick. They move 20, 30% all within 10 minutes. Sometimes you're getting something like this where you got to sit tight. 
Uh, I couldn't sit tight. I took my quick 11, 12%. Um, but yeah, so those are the multi-day bounces. It's really key to look for that high a day break. Not really buy it when still pushing lower and try to time the dip buy. And try, excuse me, time the bottom. So yeah, that, that's enough on the multi-day bounce. So I'll make plenty more videos in the future going over it. My favorite pattern. Um, <clears throat> sober, this one came back. Popping off solid first green day here. Not a whole ton of volume, so we'll see if we can get further momentum higher. Like it's it's stabilizing. As you can see, it's overall making higher lows. It held two and a half, and now we got a little bit of demand. We just really want to see more demand so it could trigger a whole entire short squeeze. I'm looking for the previous high day. If we're looking at this from tomorrow's view, 3:43, and that should give us enough to probably get to 380 so that's one angle to approach it but the safer angle the one that I'm probably going to be patient for is the breakout level if we have enough demand this is a low volume excuse me low float play low market cap and shorts have not been able to win this thing over there's a lot of indecision here it's kind of going back and forth between three and a half and two and a half for about a week or two. So if we can break over three and a half, three eighties, that could signal to shorts, okay, we're not heading lower. That triggers them to squeeze, um, to start covering and that starts to squeeze. And then people who are buying the breakout are gonna join it as well. So ideally we get moved to four and a half, playing it conservatively. Doesn't have much resistance up ahead besides playing each whole dollar, half dollar area. Um, no real volume behind this. I'm not gonna say this thing is gonna pop off to ten, but I think you know it's it's got clear skies. So we'll just judge the momentum throughout the day to see what happens. But you know we still have to get to the high threes. We'll see how that happens. But yeah, sit tight and wait for the breakout. So those are the top plays. I already got this posted on Twitter. If you want to check it out, the whole thing. Uh, yeah, we'll just wrap it up there. Hope everyone had a great day and study up and we'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.